I was told they were. Here's Wallstrom. Wallstrom shot off the outside of the post. Oh boy, he had a Romanov that uh, a Romanov. Romanov uh... Captain C was vacant. Here's Ross Levick. Into the slot. Nyquist has Bemstrom the shot. Save made by Sorokin. He kind of was casually handling that, Get huh? a little closer to that post. Oh, there we go. Here's Nelson cutting into the backhand. Save made. And the rebound off Corpusalo swept away. Thompson from the right side with a shot. Tipped in front by Nelson. Loose puck. He dove after it. Got it back on net. And Corpusalo made the stop. You know, and then it's hard to get it going again at the same level. Well, now it's four consecutive periods without a goal being scored by the Islanders. See if they can change that here in the second tonight. Pachinikov whiffed on the pass, picks it back up again. Bean with 13 left on the penalty to Romanov. Pachinikov shot, stopped in front, Sorokin, and they score! He was trying to stay with it, but it's Sillinger who moved around Sorokin and scores on the power play. Columbus takes a 1-0 lead. Yeah, he had three whacks at it. It was just a quick little wrist shot at the, at the net, and... Deemstrom just, uh, Deemstrom just stayed right with it. Number 52 gets the shot at the net, then right beside the net. One whack, two whacks, and that one just goes in. That's Sillinger. Puck bounce off, and uh, Sorokin's just not able to handle it, right? He's down, and, now, and then not much left. And, and one of the things Zach Parisi was talking about is that we don't want to spend a lot of time in our own zone. Here's Goudreau cruising in. Cut back. Couple of jams at it. Still loose outside the crease. Goudreau nearly banked it in off of Sorokin. Paul Mary tried to feed it through for Pajot, again turned over, then Mayfield overskated it, Sillinger comes in, shoots it high. That one glanced off a stick and jumped out of play. On the drop pass, Roslovic with a rocket that had Sorokin ducking out of the way. Anders Lee has Nelson behind the defense. Here's Nelson cutting to the net and a save by Corpusalo. Ajo quickly to Mayfield. His slot pass to the front, they score! Oh, what a fantastic feed from Mayfield to Brock Nelson. And the Islanders have it tied. This is where it all starts. It's, it's blocked, a good cross-ice pass, and Brock Nelson with the shot. And then we got to go get the puck, right? Pass back by Beauvillier, Ajo, and then, you know what? Scott Mayfield probably does this better than anybody else. I mean, he's got his head up. He takes a look. You can see all the way he sees Brock Nelson going to the net. And that is a huge goal for the, for the Islanders. It's, they find a way to get one on the board. and Seventh goal of the season for Nelson. They've all come in the last nine games, including this one. As Line A right back in and off the shaft to the stick of Sorokin. Uh, another turnover by the Islanders at center ice. Man alive, you just get yourself on board and you... Who picks up the goal, had two shots on that shift. We showed you the break-in initially and then the one that produced the goal. As Gaudreau dances and feeds and Sorokin had to be good there. Uh, fortuitous bounce right in the middle of the ice and right on his stick and went low with it and the left flipper worked pretty well for Sorokin. Boy, he's been good in this second period to easily give up three, four goals. Here's Bemstrom closing into the backhand and he scores. Another breakdown and Mill Bemstrom goes right down the middle of the ice and puts the backhand by Sorokin. 0-0 game for most of the night, but the Islanders in their play right now is and that's not a great change, but still... Not much awareness, and that's a great move by Bemstrom as he goes right down the middle. He's got his head up all the way, backhand, and he gets it up high over the blocker side of, oh, went under the arm, didn't it? So a little bit lucky there. Tried to center it to Lee off the skate of the referee. Pellick shot got in through traffic. A late reaction, but a save nonetheless from Corpusalo. Now Nelson on the exchange for Ajo. Finds some space. Sebastian Ajo takes it around the net. As Pelic at the top, forced to the front, rebound, score! Nelson has them both, and the Islanders have it tied. There goes Ajo all the way around, pulling a Matt Barzell. This is the forward goal replay. Ajo looking, looking, looking. Says, well, who can I give it to? Nobody. Let me shoot it at the net. And Anders Lee is in front, and a fatuitous bounce right there off the knee of Anders Lee, and Brock Nelson drips it home. I just reiterate my point, Brendan. <laughs> Shoot the puck. It's never a bad play. You never know what's going to happen. And the Islanders, a huge goal for them. And really, since they were... But do you generate any momentum? And the Islanders certainly felt their oats after that power play. Created an awful lot of opportunities. Five shots on the power play. And just kept on going. And With Pajot and Paul Mary. 
That's cutting to the net is Line A, and he paid the price as Pellick threw a hit, but so is Sorokin as he is down along the ice. Hasn't gotten up yet. They're going to blow this down. Barzell drifting. Out for Nelson. One-timer. Block. Rebound. Pajot. Couple of whacks at it. It trickles wide of the net. Corpusala without a stick. He goes for it as the puck poked out of the zone. Pellick comes out of the box. The Islanders have killed it off. In fact, there were three shots on goal during that Columbus power play. They were all Islander shots on goal. This blast, they score! In his NHL debut, Marcus Bjork walks into one and gives Columbus a 3-2 lead. Up in their own zone, watch the play as the Columbus Blue Jackets, and there's Barzell with it. Not strong enough, and the Columbus Blue Jackets steal it back, and, and he just walks right into this one, and no chance for, for the goaltenders. He gets up, gets set. And that one just whistles right by him. The change to Anders Lee was the one coming onto the ice. Towards nice keep in by Ajo, who got dumped as a result. Barzell grabs the puck. Barzell looking. Fake the pass to Ajo, keeps it, then shoots it. Took the stick out of the hands of Olivier. Mayfield cruises in and he scores! Scott Mayfield, a backhander that goes, and the Islanders get it tied again. It was the Rangers, I believe it was, Brendan. Or, or excuse me, the Avalanche. I go back to it and gets another big goal. Barzell, using his speed, is able to create an opportunity. And Scott Mayfield lifts it up and over. He he he's heard me before. Don't shoot it low, Brendan. Beautiful goal. Oh, Mayfield just just hard enough. I was able, wasn't really close to him. And this one's going to go into overtime. The Islanders fell behind three separate times, tied it each time. Nope, Columbus I, going with three forwards. Yeah, high risk for, for the Blue Jackets, and they want to. They obviously want to win the faceoff, so they don't have to play defense right off the bat. Said, so, okay, we'll let you re, regroup. Line A to Goudreau off his stick. Islanders get possession for the first time here in OT. Interference. Look at oh, they got and a penalty. called it. Here's they Pajot. Got... Parisi fighting through it. Scores! <laughs> Zach Parisi, game winner. 4-3, Isles take it. Emergency right off the bat. And we'll take another look at it, and I'll let you describe it. Well, here you go. It's Pajot. Parisi was just being hogtied behind the play, but Butch, they called the penalty. Parisi didn't get up, gave up. He fought through it and made himself a perfect option. Yeah, he finally got away, and look at that shot there. Not quite in the toy department, but up, up, near, the, up near the area, so beautiful pass. Made it soon enough, and now that Captain Jenner was playing one-on-one, -on -one, so he must have assumed that Line was going to stay with Parisi because he was way over. Watch Lambert's reaction. He likes to win, doesn't he?